your body that you see is not you. Your body is the house in which you live. So the real you are not a body, your spirit. You live in the body. That's why when somebody dies, his body may be complete. Everything may be complete in his body. So what, what, what happened? His spirit, the real person, has gone out. Now here, you know some people ask stupid questions because of the limitation of their reasoning. The human spirit is not the body that you see. And so sometimes you have people who, because they have uh, studied in some uh, school for the brains only, they think they got some knowledge. So they say now, you say that the human spirit lives in the body and they can, they can sketch for us the anatomy of the human being and they can show us everything and they can say, hey, come on here, tell me where does the spirit stay? I mean, this head is full of this, 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 this. So there's no space. You know, let it go to the body and show you everything in the body. Say, now, now, there's no space. Where does the spirit stay? Tell me, tell me. And they're like, I got you. But then you guess what? They missed the whole thing. The word spirit. is synonymous with the word wind. Can you see that? Wind, which means it functions with the character of the wind. You see that? Now, what does that tell you? Imagine how much space there is in you, your nostrils your eyes, even your skin, air can get into you in any way. If air can get into you, the spirit can get into you. Because it's the character of the spirit. And you don't use physical sizes to describe a spirit. So the Bible gives us the description of the spirit of God, of the human spirit, of Satan, of demonic spirits in spiritual language. So we never should be carried away by the thoughts and ideas of people who only understand sense knowledge. All, all that you see is not all there is. Always remember that. All you see is not all there is. And if you studied your science truly, you would know that. Hallelujah. So I said that to say this. Your spirit, you live in the body, and God communicates with your spirit. He communicates with your spirit. You know God from your spirit. You can't know God from your mind. That's why the word of God is revelation. The word of God is revelation. He reveals himself through his word. And he reveals himself to your spirit. 